If confirmed, Kenneth Braithwaite would become the fourth Secretary of the Navy, either acting or permanent since last November 24th, when Richard Spencer got removed. That's a lot of churn at the top in less than six months' time. It saddens me to say that the Department of the Navy is in rough waters, due to many factors, but primarily the failure of leadership. The retired Rear Admiral Braithwaite, who currently serves as U.S. Ambassador to Norway, told members of the Senate Armed Services Committee that he will right the ship by restoring the Navy's culture. I won't say it's broken. I think it's been tarnished. I think the events over the last several years have helped see that occur. And if I'm confirmed, I will make sure that I get at that. Again, predicated on good order and discipline, empowering people to understand their responsibilities along that chain of command. Braithwaite did not offer his views on the removal of Captain Brett Crozier as commanding officer of the COVID-19 stricken USS Theodore Roosevelt, but he did say he supports the newly reopened investigation. Whenever you're uh, confronted with a challenge like this, it's uh, best to pause, consider all the facts, uh, and then make the right decision. And on other issues, Braithwaite said he supports reinvesting in the nation's four public naval shipyards, building a larger than 355-ship Navy fleet, and he singled out his admiration for the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer, calling it truly the backbone. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.